and to the random draws. This is a special project for us since it's the first project of this kind, but it surely will not be the last. The goal is simple. Make a robotic arm with off-the-shelf parts, basic knowledge, easy enough for everyone to follow, yet use coding to control it instead of G-code. This makes the project a bit harder, but I get to learn some coding on the go. I designed everything myself from the ground up, but some parts needed way too much time to print. So I went ahead and bought Fusion 360 Premium++. Plus Plus. This has two awesome features. One, it lets me grab things from the display, and the second one makes me feel like I'm using Windows Millennium. Next, I made sure that all the gearboxes are spinning OK without any excessive friction, and then I moved on to build the arm. Enjoy! Production. to get some pretty good results out of it. The reason the arm is producing that horrible sound is because first, the gearboxes are all running without any lubricant, so plastic is just rubbing on each other, and secondly, it has no rubber spacers, nor any bushings, so the result is the horrible sound. But how much does those NEMA 17 lift? Well, if you take into consideration that they are about 350 grams and they can lift about 250 grams on their shaft, not a lot. But the models are actually geared down, so they can lift a bit more than they are originally designed for. They get a bit hot, but that's to be expected. But how much more? They can lift about 1.5 times their overall weight at a distance of 2.5 centimeters away from the center of rotation. Good, now that we know the overall limitation of this thing, let's put it to the test. The first test will be to make the three models cooperate with each other to keep an item steady on the X, Y and Z axis. And as you can see, it performs really good. Be expected. And to conclude the testing phase, I want to do a simple repeatability test, but since I have no way of doing it, I will actually take two videos of the arm moving on the same position and compare the frames on the editing part of the video. I will show you how it looks like. All I'm going to do is insert a video of the arm, find the starting positions precisely by moving each frame forward and backward and then I am going to take the starting position and take it away from the video. Then I let the video play until the arm comes to a complete stop. Then I will take the last position of the arm and compare it to the starting position. If the motors skip any steps or had any malfunction, it will be visible in the before and after footage since the two positions will not be the same. Even I wasn't expecting it to perform that well. And I am the one who has been testing it and troubleshooting it for a month. And yes, my testing method has questionable reliability, but I will take it as a win.
that was it for part one of the video. I will surely make a part two whenever I have something worth showing. If you're interested in the code, you can follow us on Instagram and ask for it on a message and I will personally send it to you. All the other files will of course be in the link in the description. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. As you can see, we don't have many subs, yet we try to provide the best content possible. See you next time.